Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Color Cup with a fantastic line with Trevor and Upon the Lead, Shadow Charizard, Azure Safe Switch and the closer, the almighty Shadow Zapdos. Gonna get now to the Shadow Ball, they are gonna block it unfortunately and they have to reach to their Octazooka I believe here. So I'm just gonna let it go through and because I have a Seed Bomb ready to go, not gonna use it yet, just gonna go ahead and use my first shield on the Shadow Charizard while preserving that Seed Bomb bomb for the end game. However, I'm too low and at that point I remember that uh, I was thinking that I had more HP on my Trevenant. Anyways, you're gonna see in a while what I mean. Then we go to that Weather Ball, they have no shields while we have one and the Shadow Zabdos ready to unleash its whole power up against that trainer. We got to block the Weather Ball and now gonna charge up a lot of energy. Let's get to the Thunderbolt, not gonna risk it for the Biscuit and the Drill Pack, just gonna get to the Thunderbolt for for the uh, sure knockout up against them. Kingdra comes in, I was trying to go ahead and snipe them down with a seed bomb, however, then I realized that I had only one HP remaining and unfortunately, unfortunately we're gonna go down, however at the back there is gonna be a Trevenant and they are gonna follow the same fate like the other two Pokemon and they're gonna go down in one hit, that was absolutely awesome from the Shadow Zabdos to emerge victorious in the first battle with a complete nuke with one HP and yeah, IVs really matter sometimes. Uh, so we're gonna have now the Jellicent up against our Charizard and because they're getting kinda low I want to try and snipe them down with a Potential Blaster. They end up taking it, perhaps they were expecting the Dragon Claw but we are not betting here, not for the second time at least. So here comes another Blaster, this time on the Marowak and bad news here is that this Bone Club will uh, not be enough to finish us off so they can get out of here with a decent amount of energy farmed up. Now my Trevor will go in and you know what I'm just gonna take it I have to rely on my Shadow Zabdos in order to close this battle and I cannot risk it if that is not gonna be a Shadow Bone uh, so it ends up being a Shadow Bone so down we go but obviously we have to rely on the Shadow uh, Zabdos for the end game they end up having once again a Trevenant one for the shield one for the knockout before they reach to that seed bomb very nice energy management and that's why I am the Shadow Zabdos King let's get with the ultimate amount of damage up against that uh, second uh, ghost type and we're gonna take this victory. A stun if it's in the color cap? No, I just press the rock button and I'm just gonna go ahead and participate with this team into Great League. So let's see how we can deal with that Sunfisk because I'm just glad we do not have that Pokemon at the back. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so right here, I'm just gonna take the second move because they are super low that they might seal, they might not and we can get out of here with an instant amount of uh, energy as well. Uh, so Seed Bomb, they end up blocking. You know what? I'm just gonna take now the move uh, because there is no reason not to. I have the Sealed Advantage, Stunfisk is out of the way and I have two flyers at the back that can potentially go pretty rough up against them. Uh, so Shadow Drapion is gonna emerge here but we don't care at all, Blast Bird is gonna obliterate that Pokemon. At the back there is gonna be the, the Frostlass and I think they stopped hitting because they surrendered. And another Nook on the Frostlass and that was a pretty solid battle for our team on the open Great League format and not even the Color Cup. Back in the Color Cup now with the Seed Bomb and I believe that uh, this is gonna deal a lot of damage, they, they have to respect it but they end up taking it and you know you know what, I am gonna respect the damage from the Icicle Spear in return uh, because it seems like they're getting kinda low. What I do not like about this matchup is that uh, half of the times they go ahead and switch out, half of those times they are not gonna do that, so they end up catching the move of the Seed Bomb on the Fire type which is a bummer but still my Charizard can pressure a lot over here. I believe that if this is gonna be a Weather Ball we can still survive, yes we can and still gonna be able to reach to my Dragon Claw to finish off the remaining HP out of that nine tails. They end up blocking and you know what's coming up. We're just gonna throw our Trevenant to sacrifice it as uh, uh, not gonna use, as I do not wanna use a shield for my Shadow Zabdos on a Weather Ball. And yeah, Trevenant has already done his job. You know now that Shadow Zabdos is just gonna go to town with back-to-back -to -back Trill Packs before they reach to their move and I'm just gonna keep my shield alive while they back out of this battle. 
into the next one, Sado Zabdos looks amazing on this very nice and spicy backline and we're having now the Seed Bomb up against another Wall Rain. Are they gonna block this time? Yes they are, gonna respect the damage and we're gonna do exactly the same back at them. I'm pretty sure that they will try to switch out but they end up staying in so that gave me some courage because I can now go ahead and finish them off with my Seed Bomb so they're gonna use both of them shields on the Wall Rain and I'm pretty glad about it because now my Shadow Charger can definitely go in, tank one move, one Icicle Spear, doesn't matter at all and we're just gonna throw on the next CMP uh, checkpoint because here comes the Dragon Claw able to finish them off and we have the Blast Burn ready to unleash its full power up against the next one which ends up being Entire Flame and before they even unleash a move we can still finish them off with a Drill Pack. What lies at the back? Is it gonna be a grass? type yes it is but this one is gonna be the amazing Gradili, which means that takes neutral damage from our drill packs i'm just gonna reach now to a more than a double drill pack one for almost 50 percent and one more which we, they can survive i believe this is not gonna be enough for them to get finished off but they can still reach to a move however it did some big a grass knot which we can survive and sado zabdos will be the one that will close this battle Pick up force my practice body in the next battle and we're facing them with their Aboma Snow up on the lead. Well, that's pretty tricky for my team. I cannot switch out yet. All I have to do is to go straight for the bait. Uh, so here comes the Seed Bomb after we reach the point that we have the Shadow Ball and now we're gonna take this move on our Pokemon. We know that they are energy dry. They have now the switch on the Ampharos and we have to threat that Pokemon a lot. So they're having double Anti-Flyer here and this is not looking that promising for my team. I'm just gonna be honest with you uh yeah so dragon claw here just gonna do a decent amount of work up against that pokemon but they can still survive with the ampharos and at this point they have back-to-back -back moves so thunder punch will not be appreciated by my sadu zabdos However, we can still survive. Got the drill pack for the Aboma Snow. What lies at the back, whatever it is, we're just gonna go down. It is gonna be the Sado Zabdos. And yeah, the Master lost here, but it doesn't matter. I think that we got hard countered with uh, all those uh, anti flyers, but still well played to my opponent. Pika Forge, an amazing battler, and we practice a lot against each other. So we kind of know each other's playstyle. We barely bait against uh, each other when we practice so that's a crucial factor for this battle anyways down we go and yeah well played to pick a force anyways uh seed bomb here are able to connect to that toxapex down they go we are down on seals this is something that you do not see every day with this line uh, most of the times i'm using uh my seals for the end game and my shadow zabdos doesn't matter though they can still reach now to a move this is gonna be an icicle spear for sure that we can survive but we cannot reach to the next one just gonna throw my trevenant i want them to sacrifice the remaining energy energy that they have it is gonna be the acid spear done we go and now that uh, zabdos can go to town with all that energy farmed up and we got the shield as well we can almost outspeed anything here so down they go they know that the damage cannot be taken for a second time and they early back out i believe so that's why they took it while they had the shield up uh, Galvantul in the next one, uh, so this is tricky, this is tricky, uh, the Shadow Ball is still gonna be able to connect for little damage, but after the lands, the Shadow Claws are not adding up, so if they block correctly, this can get out of hand and I do not like that at all. Uh, they end up switching out though, which is just fine by me, because now I'm just gonna use a shield on the Shadow Zabdos and the Thunderbolt is gonna connect for big damage on the Toxapex, at the back, the Galvantula returns into the battle, Drill Pack here is gonna take the shield out of the way and do one more to secure the victory up against that pokemon uh, down they go they have now the trevenant but we got another flyer another another shadow flyer a very nice counter to that trevenant and you know what's coming up we're just gonna block the move whatever that is not gonna risk it or anything we got the dragon glory to go and right after we can definitely outspeed to the next move before they reach to the shadow ball so that is gonna secure our victory on this battle into the final one now with the toxapex up on the lead i do not like the 
those odds because still Toxapex is a very nice threat for my team, especially when shields are up. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the Shadow Ball here. They are gonna take it big damage on the Tox, and I believe that my next move might just be enough to finish them off. Gonna take it, it ends up being just a sludge wave, so down we go. I was hoping they could bait with the brine, but it did not work out at all. So I did not want to spend the shield there because I want to spend the shield on my Zapdos and of course charge up more crucial energy than the Trevenant will at this amount of HP. At the back they have a Galvantula and guess what is coming up? The Triple Drill Pack or shall I say the Dripple Pack or the Drip Pack. Uh, okay, I have to work on that. Anyways, uh, Charizard now goes in, Kota block the move. What do you have at the back trainer? What is it gonna be? Let's see together because Shadow Charizard is gonna have the upper hand with the energy. It ends up being another Trevenant. Everyone is having a Trevenant and that is gonna wrap things up for this video with the Shadow Zabdos and the Shadow Charizard combining for a very strong backline on today's video. Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!